Lately, I've been complaining that this summer has been devoid of new games. There have been a few great indie titles, but blockbusters have been few and far between. Every week I've been trying to review at least one new title until this week came along. The week of August 7th, 2011 is seeing mostly shovelware releases, and the only title that piques my interest has been Fruit Ninja Connect, which I really doubt is worth $15. So I decided to save everyone out there a few bucks and focus completely on free-to-play games for the week. I've picked out some solid free-to-play titles to review from now until Sunday, hopefully saving everyone the much-needed cash for the new games in the months to come. First on the list is a game that Steam consistently nags me to play, even offering me a free TF2 helmet for getting a specific achievement. Spiral Knights is an MMORPG for really anyone. I feel like my mom could pick up this game and have a general idea of what's going on. Using characters that are highly reminiscent of Crystal Chronicles, the art style is very well done and cohesive. As a matter of fact, this game is even set up like Crystal Chronicles with a familiar top-down third-person view. When you start up Spiral Knights, you create a character using very few customization options, but there's a ton of equipment to find in game and utilize. Since I'm new to this, my character has the stock weapons and nothing else. You can find new gear by fighting your way through dungeons and purchasing them off of vendors in the hub world called Haven. Spiral Knights is very accessible. For someone who hasn't picked up an MMORPG since Asheron's Call in Diablo 2, it was incredibly simple for me to dive right into this title and have a decent grasp of what I needed to do and manage to stay alive while doing it. When you select a tier of dungeons to explore, you'll be partnered with up to three other players, friends or random strangers, and battle your way to elevators which take you further into the dungeon. When or if you die, you need to spend some in-game money to revive yourself or hope you have generous teammates, because if you're out of money and no one feels like lending you a hand, you're on your way back to the hub world to start from scratch. In Haven, you can choose dungeons to explore, trade and purchase items from vendors and other players, and learn more about this world. Haven is limited to a certain amount of player control characters, so even though you might be running around interacting with about 20 to 30 people, there are thousands more in other Havens exactly like this one. It's a little parallel university, but the large amount of Haven servers out there is a testament to the massive amount of players who frequent this title. Controls are insanely simple. You move by left-clicking a spot on the map, you right-click to attack and interact, and scroll to change weapons while your items are stored in number keys 1 through 4. As far as free-to-play games go, this one is robust and offers quite a bit of gameplay. Developer Three Rings boasts the ever-changing atmosphere of the game and explains the dungeon levels are cycled in real time. Playing through these dungeons solo can be fun, but it's just better with a friend. And with this game being free to play, literally any of your friends on Steam already have this game. If you have enough friends to make it worthwhile, you can drop some in-game cash and create your own guild. Three Rings seems to keep up-to-date running promotions, themed weekends, and giveaways, which would indicate they are really invested in this title, spelling out good news for players out there. This game doesn't feel like a free-to-play title, it just doesn't. I don't think it's on par with World of Warcraft or Diablo, but Spiral Knights is really successful at what it attempts. That's the first of many games in this F2P week, so be sure to check back soon for more coin-free gaming.